Toledo Police are back again that is supposed to be all about fun. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Jerry Anderson. And I'm Emily Voss. The popular game Pokemon Go could be a new way for child predators to find victims. Tim Miller is investigating this in our Crackdown on Crime tonight. Tim? Yeah, guys, the frenzy over this game really hasn't died down a whole lot. And parents be aware of the unwanted attention it could bring. Leave it to criminals to try to pounce on something that's supposed to be carefree. Police departments in many areas of the country are stepping up patrols and popular Pokemon playing areas, knowing that predators could use it as a way to get close to kids. Just not kids, but it could be anybody, even adults. Uh, and then uh, if they know that there's a certain spot that's frequented by people during this game, uh, that may be a location that they're going to set up for and look for potential victims. Lieutenant Heffernan says some Pokemon Go players are already distracted from traffic dangers and they're also not aware of potential criminals. Austin Howard has been a Pokemon Go fan. He's no longer a kid, but told us his parents were still worried about his safety. Yeah, some people could like try to like look for stuff like that. Like there's there's places you can go and drop this stuff to draw like Pokemon to you and like that just be a easy place for people that want to harm people to go to. TPD officers have been told to keep an eye out for Pokemon Go players and Lieutenant Heffernan says there's safety in numbers but be wary of that outsider who could be up to no good. They can say oh you know I'm here playing the game too uh, can I join your group um, you know let's go I think there's one over here. Now don't forget to monitor your kid's phone and make sure they're not trying to contact someone to meet up somewhere and play this game Pokemon Go. Reporting live, Tim Miller, WTOL 11.